everyone, so um, as you can see, I'm wearing very minimal makeup, and um, the reason for that is that um, a very exciting package came in the mail today, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I um, purchased um, some sugar pill products, and I purchased a single eyeshadow and an eyeshadow palette. So um, I purchased this eyeshadow, which is Poison Plum, and it's this really pretty purple color. It's much warmer purple than what it shows up on the um, on the screen. And um, and then I also purchased this uh, Sweetheart palette, which has four colors. And this is um, Dolly Pop, After Party, Midori, and Tuck. Another YouTuber that I've been talking to a lot, um, Purple Stars 1986 um, subscribe to her channel. She does um, really good, affordable makeup looks. And um, she told me that I should um, do a first impressions video where I've never ever used the products before and then I use them for the first time for you guys in front of the camera. So I thought this would be a really cool thing to do. So I'm going to swatch them for the first time for you right now. So I guess I'll start with the pink because it's my favorite color. That's insane. That is so pigmented. And then I guess I'll go over to um, After Party. That one's a little bit sheer, but still really, really intense. And then we'll do Midori, the green. Okay, there's that one. And then Taco, which is the white color. That one's a little bit more sheer, but that's okay because I don't really ever find an opportunity to wear like a super crazy opaque white. My fingers look so pretty. So I'm going to swatch Poison Plum. Ooh, this one's really velvety. Look, that's it on my finger. Yeah, super insane. My eyes are already primed with Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I like to use under a like kind of greasy base because I don't, because otherwise it'll crease. So I'm just going to use a very light amount of this on my finger and I'm just going to place that all over my lid. So. What I'll probably do is I'll do one eye and then I'll um, step away from the camera and do the other eye, so. But I wanted my first impression to be on camera, so I didn't want to do one eye first because I thought that would defeat the whole purpose. So I'm going to use Poison Plum and I'm going to cut my crease. Then I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. Just flicking with that angle brush. Right, and then I'm going to take over with a pencil brush. I'm just going to use this one from Sigma. This is the E30. It's right here. I'm just kind of fading that down in the corner because I don't want to take it all the way into the corner. Like as hardcore as it is right here. So I just want to kind of fade it down. These work so amazingly. They, they're they really like kind of they stick right. So I'm just going to take the Dolly Pop on this um, MAC 217 and then I'm just going to start blending upward on that purple so like overlapping the edge of the purple with some pink and then just kind of take whatever's left on the brush and you can bring that almost all the way up to the brow. Just make sure that you start out with very little because you don't want there to be like too much left when you get to the brow if that makes sense. Maybe do one more little swipe of that with the same kind of conservative amount of shadow. Starting lower again. And this time don't bring it up. I'm going to take that Poison Plum again and just touch up my line. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth with these two colors until I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to start working on the lid. And the um, first color I'm going to use is the um, After Party, which is that blue. So I'm going to put that on my flat shader brush, which is a Sigma E55. I'm just going to start packing that on the outer two-thirds of the lid. Wow, okay, so that's like super pigmented. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Midori because I haven't used that one yet and I'm really excited about that one especially. 
So I'm going to use this mini flat shader brush and you'll see when I put it on my eye it's a lot smaller than the last one I used. So it's a little baby. I'm just going to take that in the corner. I'm going to go back with the blue and kind of blend between them. I'm going to take a um, Sigma E35. It's the Sigma equivalent of a MAC 222, which I've never owned, but I like the Sigma version, so I don't care. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to blend this out really well. Then I'm going to take this same brush that I used for the Midori and I'm going to wipe it off a little bit and I'm going to grab my uh, MAC Chrome Yellow and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. Actually, first what I'm going to do before I put the Chrome Yellow in my inner corner is I'm going to take um, my Real Techniques Pixel Point Fine Eyeliner Brush. I'm going to take this silver color and I'm just going to lightly dab that into my inner corner before I place down the chrome yellow and it just gives it this like really nice inner sheen. I just kind of like this because it shines from within the eyeshadow if I lay it down first. So, just placing that over the silver. Alright, so now what we're going to do is work on the lower lashes, and I think I'm going, the lower lash line, I should say, not the lashes themselves. And I'm going to take my pencil brush with my Poison Plum on it again. Well, as of yet, there hasn't been any serious fallout. I think this stuff is just really, really sticks to the lid, so I'm impressed with that. And then I'm just going to take my same pencil brush and dip it in Dolly Pop just a tiny bit. Okay, so I put it right there. I'm going to blend around like my whole eye a little bit more because I've got this right here. And then I'm going to, the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sigma Large Fluff E50, which is this big fat like flat shader brush. I'm going to take Taco, which is that white color. Put that under my brow. I'm just going to use that to kind of tame that pink a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm going to go back to the Dolly Pop now because I think I tamed the pink too much. Okay. So that's my one eye and next I'm going to put on some gel liner and for that I'm using um, L'Oreal Hip Cream Liner. Oh, by the way, the brush I'm using is a Stila number 28. And then I'm going to do my, um, my mascara. And I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines with um, black Urban K Zero pencil. Okay, so um, now the last thing that I'm going to do before I take a break and do the other eye and come back is I'm going to take um, the Glamouflage Concealer from Hard Candy. Um, I got this at Walmart like a week ago, so this is another new product. I'm just going to take this under my eyes on a Sigma E40 just to A, clean up fallout and B, make myself look a little bit more alive because I slept like almost none last night because I had to get up early and go on a little mini trip with my mom and sis. Okay, so as you can see, um, I did the other eye and now I'm just going to do the rest of my face and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some bronzer on my cheeks and I'm going to use my usual Sephora bronzer, you've seen it. It's going to kind of lightly bronze. Did you guys miss my stupid contouring faces? Okay, so for the rest of the face, I'm just going to keep it super neutral, and I'm just going to put on Hue by MAC, which is my favorite nude. I might just pop a little tiny dot of Dolly Pop on the front of my cheeks and apples with using my uh, Real Techniques um, buffing brush. I'm just literally going to pop. 
right in there. Okay. Tap it off really well and then just... And then I'm going to take another brush and this is like a, uh, another blush brush that doesn't have anything on it. So this one's just from Coastal Scents. Just going to rub that out pretty well without re-dipping the brush. Just going to put another spot on there. And there is your sugar pill look. So um, let me share with you my verdict about the eyeshadows. And let me also note, I think I deserve a round of applause for this one. Um, yeah, while I was off camera doing my other eye, I already dropped the eyeshadows. Yay me. So, but anyway, aside from that, because that has nothing to do with the quality of the eyeshadows, these are awesome. And um, they're also cheaper than the Makeup Forever ones. And this was $12, and the Makeup Forever ones, which are of, um, which are also like your go-to matte brights, um, like a lot of people who love bright eyeshadows love Makeup Forever, um, is $19. This is only $12. So, and then I believe that um, the cost per eyeshadow is actually less if you buy them in the palettes. So I can't remember off the top of my head um, what the actual um, price of the palette is, but... I'll link the product listing um, below. Yeah, I am so excited about these because, oh my gosh, look how bright these colors are. I've literally never encountered colors this bright. But I've been using my 88 palette and a couple from MAC for my bright color needs. And this is just in another realm. This is like so cool. So um, I'm really glad I finally decided to try these. And I know that they are getting a lot of hype from or that they have been for like quite a while, been getting hype from Petrolude um, and X Sparkage and um, some other YouTubers um, like that. So, um, and the hype is deserved. These are the coolest colors. So, I would definitely say that if you are a Brights person, you should totally get this. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope that that was fun for you guys to watch. And, and Natalie, I hope you like it. Um, check out Natalie's channel, um, which is Purple Star 1986. I always forget the number at the end. And um, yeah, thanks for the suggestion. And um, I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do crazy things with my eyes. So um, bye.